we, we uh, received, I received a phone call um, and I was working with about half a dozen other people at the time and I couldn't believe what I heard. I was sort of, it was terribly exciting but I just had to carry on working and pretending that everything was normal when of course I was thinking about, uh, I just was overwhelmed. Uh, I felt privileged, excited and daunted all at the same time. I, I do know that they love our fruit cake and we are making a traditional fruit cake um, which is actually how I started the business so we know how to do that well. Uh, we have quite a, a sort of a modern style of cake decorating but it's quite traditional as well and quite delicate and we, we do make a lot of flowers and I think they just liked our, like our style. We, have, we are making a um, a recipe which is a, tr a very traditional recipe and it's just slightly changed for, th for them. It's just uh, it's the most exciting cake. It's, it, it, and we, feel so, we all do feel very privileged. We're all very excited about making this, the cake. Well, on this table are flowers that we will be using on the wedding cake, which is... Um, they are all taken from a list that Catherine actually has given me, which is the language from the language of flowers. The language of flowers is something that was used in Victorian times to express in a coded way um, the meaning of emotions that perhaps couldn't be expressed in words were conveyed flowers. So all the flowers have meanings. So, for example, I can remember all the meanings. I've been, I, Catherine has, I've been learning very much from her, but she has selected these flowers. So, for example, the bridal rose symbolises happiness. The um, oak and acorn symbolises strength and endurance. Um, the lily of the valley, sweetness and humility. So, and we have a long list. I mean, that not all the flowers are here. But, um, so it's, it's very exciting, it's been exciting for me, it's been, a lot. I've been learning from her. But all the other thing that is important is that we're going to be including um, the English rose, the daffodil, I don't know if there's daffodil in here, but the English rose, daffodil, thistle for Scotland, and the shamrock, which is here for Ireland, so the four national flowers.